Solve the rational equation x over x minus 2 minus 4 over x plus 1 equals 6 over x squared minus x minus 2 in three different ways. In part a, solve algebraically and check for extraneous roots. On the right side, factor the denominator. The common denominator for x minus 2 and x plus 1 is their product, x minus 2 times x plus 1. Multiply both sides of the equation by the common denominator. Distribute x minus 2 times x plus 1 to each term. Cancel identical factors in the numerator and denominator. Simplify. Bring all of the terms to the left side of the equation. Factor the trinomial. Set the first factor equal to 0 and solve for x. We get x equals 2. Set the second factor equal to 0 and solve for x. We get x equals 1. The roots of the equation are x equals 1 and 2. Now we'll check for extraneous roots. Check x equals 1. The left side equals the right side, so x equals 1 is an actual root. Now check x equals 2. We can't divide by 0, so 2 is an extraneous root. Only x equals 1 is a root of the equation. In part b, solve the equation by finding the point of intersection of a system of functions. We can solve for x using the system of functions, y1 equals x over x minus 2 minus 4 over x plus 1, and y2 equals 6 over x squared minus x minus 2. Graph each function in your calculator. Find the point of intersection. We get the solution x equals 1. Note that the extraneous root of 2 that we found in part a does not appear in the graphical solution. There are vertical asymptotes at x equals 2 and x equals negative 1, so it is impossible for the graphs to intersect there. In part c, Solve the equation by finding the x-intercepts of a single function. Rewrite the equation so it equals 0. Graph the corresponding function. The x-intercept is 1, 0, so x equals 1 will solve the equation. This is the same result we found in parts a and b. Note that the extraneous root of x equals 2 that we found in the algebraic solution does not exist in the graphical solution.